today we are going to be showing our Valentine date outfit. Hey everybody, I'm Carlotta Champagne. And I'm Dear Taylor. <laughs> Sounds fabulous. <laughs> Alrighty then, shall we show them off? And here we go. And we are back. Um, and this is my first outfit. You would wear that on a date. Uh, yeah, check it out. It's got heart pockets. Heart pockets on the butt. This okay. is like the best Valentine's <laughs> outfit as far as I'm concerned. It's very interesting material. Like, yeah, it's kind of a... Um, <laughs> It's like a towel. That's what I was gonna say, it's like a towel. And this was handmade by somebody, um, I think it, their name is called Bread Baroness. Ooh. She uses vintage uh, patterns and vintage fabrics and makes these really cool outfits, so. I dig it. So this is what I would wear if I was going on a date, possibly with you. Oh. And this is what I would wear underneath. <laughs> This is if the date goes well. This is if we have really good um, sound effects. You get that there. more. <laughs> Hold on, my boobs are hanging up. Don't look. Oh, I'm not looking. This is the Valentine's experience. Yeah. Okay, so this does not match. But really? Well, I mean, it doesn't match the first outfit. Oh. But it had a heart uh, somewhere here. It has a heart here. I thought it was a heart. <laughs> like, it's a heart so that out. Um, yes, yeah, so it had a heart, so I, I thought it should go with this. That I like. Not that I didn't like the first one. So I want to see yours. It's getting hot in here, boys. <laughs> this is my fancy blazer, because business is always at the front of my mind. <laughs> Not in business. It's pretty hot. I saw this piece before. I saw it like hiding in your closet and I thought, like, man, I might need to borrow that or take it off of you. It is very cute. I just think it's a little big on me, but you know what isn't big on me? I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say something really sassy, but I couldn't think of it. Let's go, boys. Don't mind the tag on that jacket. Now, if you guys are familiar with my channel, I've actually wore this on there. This is a doll's kill piece. It's this cute little like lacy, shimmery, oh, it's not shimmery. But I like that it's little velvety hearts. hearts. Yeah. That feels nice. Little velvety soft hearts. It's very young and like flirtatious on the butt. Love it a lot. Very cute. Yeah. So if our date goes well, maybe you'll get to see this. Okay, and on to the next. Yeah. And we're back. You went with a costume? Or are you like doing some sort of role playing? What's the deal? I went with a costume? What you're wearing? Oh no, this is my daily attire. I mean, you're not wrong, you're not wrong. This is um, a costume from Yandy. It's from Clueless, but everybody says I look like Woody from Toy Story. It's funny, I can <laughs> so, see it. Yeah, I don't, I don't really understand it, but it's not necessarily about the costume on the outside. It's about the costume underneath. Ooh. So wait, you're going from Clueless to Snow White? <laughs> oh my gosh, you got apples on your boobs? Yeah, <laughs> apples on my melons. So I've actually had this piece of laundry for a very long time and I have no idea who it's from or what company it's from. Like, I, I don't know, I just never wore it. But it's, it's cute. Like, well, it's super cute actually. Yeah. So I like it. Thank you. So we got to see what you're wearing here too. Oh, okay. Show off your costume or clothing. Both. <laughs> Costumes. Actually, I suspect that this was probably from like a cruise ship maybe. I tend to get a lot of really cool pieces from like shows that are over, whether it's stage shows or whatever. And this one I picked up from the store. It's a wrap. It's in Los Angeles. They get stuff when TV shows are done filming and I love it. I've used it several times in photo shoots, a couple times in real life. I've worn it to drag con, I've worn it to events. And show them the back. What's cool about these wings is that you can take them off if you just want it to be a... Oh really? Yeah, just pull them off. Oh my. <laughs> it takes See, a little bit of work. Here. Yeah, so if you, you know, don't want it to be too costumey, you just want to wear a really swag pink suit, yeah. that's an option too. And very coarse. Cool. I got something pretty cool underneath. Ooh, what could it be? Is it candy? Your greatest dreams. <laughs> Is it candy? <laughs> no, sorry, 
I can't offer that. It's even better than candy. Better than candy. Ooh, spicer. Wow. Mm. Don't look at the pants, they're not sexy. I feel like my attempt at stripping is really bad. Oh, it's great. Okay. Okay, how does it look? It looks fabulous. Like, what is this piece? So, this was purchased um, from Dolls Kill for me from a fan, and this is actually the first time I'm trying it on. I love it. It's so cool. Um, just really hot, and I love the hearts. It kind of gives that, that Valentine's. You know, fancy. It's I'm just really sticking valid. with hearts right now. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the hearts for the next one, but this one is great, so mm -hmm. check it out. It's like Western does Valentine's Day almost with like the chap kind of look. Very cute. Okay, we're a tall glass of water. Or pretend champagne. Champagne. <laughs> I'm a tall glass of champagne. You're right, you're right. But we can't drink champagne on YouTube, so. Oh, it's Sprite. There you go. <laughs> you're a tall glass of Sprite. That's a no, good thing. No, but I was going with my name. I know. <laughs> Oi, man. Okay, on the next one. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Like, did I break the glass? I know, I was like, oh. Okay, so it's gonna be a clash. This is the final outfit. <gasps> no. However, I wasn't able to put my lingerie top on underneath this, so I'm gonna have to step off while you show yours. Oh, okay. Because you would see it, and I wanted it to be a surprise. Ooh. So, go for it. Check this out. I'm checking. It is a pretty crazy outfit. I can't even remember where I picked this up, but it is just, oh, I picked it up on eBay, of all places. I think I was looking up showgirl costumes, and this popped up, and I was like, I think my fans are gonna dig this, because <laughs> I love jumpsuits, and you guys love my assets. <laughs> so, <laughs> the assets. So, um, I love this. If you guys don't know, I collect show pieces. Um, I have a massive collection, obviously. You can see some of the ones before and in previous videos. And this one is just so up my alley. So, yeah. Check it out. It's really cute, one of a kind. I like the way it's kind of got this like. <laughs> Late 90s, early 2000s, like thong sticking out of, out of the top. I was able to get the, the thong tail. on. Yeah. But, um, but didn't want to put the top on yet. So I'm going to let you show off your outfit. You got it. I put the top on. But you guys, let me know what you think. If you like what you see, tell me which outfits are your favorites. We have OnlyFans, we have Instagram, we got it all. We have everything. She even is on like Twitch playing video games with you guys. So, lots of places to hang out with us. We don't check sleep. out. <laughs> That's basically true. What a sweet. <laughs> um, you can see the behind the scenes stuff on the Patreon, and there's some fun stuff on there. So, yeah. On to Dare's outfit. Yeah. And honestly, also another fun thing about us is we share a P.O. box. So, if there's an outfit that you wish we would have worn today, send it to us. It's in the description down below as well. Do it. We basically live together. <laughs> we do. We live next to each other. So this is my piece. This is actually from a fan. This top is with the matching um, unders, but I'll get to that in a second. And this actually, the skirt is from Unnazi, which is an Instagram brand that sponsored me a whole bunch of really cute skirts. So you'll probably see a video coming from me soon featuring them. Very cute, but it's not nearly as cute as the whole lingerie set together. I actually should do this backwards. This is from a fan who goes by the name Simp for Dare. <laughs> actually, you have to change his name to Sub to Dare, which I kind of like that, so, you know, subscribe. But he uh, got me this whole outfit. So thank you so much, Travis. If you guys don't know, we love Honey Burdette here. So if you want to spoil us a little bit, you can send something to our PO box. We do like twinning and wearing the same outfits. So. No, I can't afford Honey Burdett. They're really pretty though. Love their style. And that's a great outfit. Yeah. You definitely need some stockings with that though. Right? It came with a matching mask. Oh, nice. <laughs> Should I try it on? Let me go grab it. Oh no, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it's too big. Yeah. That's funny. It doesn't really match either. It's cute though. It doesn't match? Oh. Well, well I mean, it's same with leopard print. Mask be gone. <laughs> I think it's time for you to show off your outfit. Yeah, I'm kind of in it. Kind of. Kind of. <clears throat> okay, you ready? Yeah, let's see it. Okay, 
This is the ultimate oh. of all Valentine's Day lingerie. Um, what do you think? It's amazing. And wow. all the hearts have different things on each side, but some of them are a little more graphic than others. So I kind of chose oh. things. Ooh, they're coming off. It's like pirate patches for boobies. <laughs> it's not necessarily the most um, convenient lingerie, but it's pretty hot and it's kind of fun. And there's a lot to um, unwrap. Yeah. <laughs> So there's quite a bit to work with. Wow. So definitely you guys get to tell me which ones are your favorite. This one is kind of mine, I don't know. I mean, as far as the undergarments go. Yeah. So. It's very fitting for the holiday. It is very rare when you find holiday lingerie. Thank you so much, Dara, for being on my channel. Oh. And thanks for having me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed our haul. We will be back again soon. I'm sure we'll do another one together. Oh, I'm sure. And yeah. Bye. Bye.